Part 8 of the HMIS Data Standards Training will focus on the data elements that demonstrate key outcomes, housing move-in date and exit destination. Housing move-in date records when a client actually moves in and begins to sleep in a unit supported by permanent housing projects. This records the positive outcome of getting housing for a permanent housing project client. So, homeless prevention, emergency shelter, transitional housing, and supportive services only projects do not collect this information. Housing move-in date is collected for heads of household only. But don't worry, reports will then apply this moved-in status to the entire household. This can only be collected on an interim update assessment and is not available anywhere else. One last reminder, Housing move-in dates are not project start or lease updates. It is when the client actually moved in. If the client doesn't move in during their project enrollment, do not collect a housing move-in date. Here is housing move-in date on the paper assessment. Last but not least, we have exit destination. This element asks which housing situation the client stays in the night they exit the project. For example, we can ask if Henrietta exits, where will she sleep that night? Say she exits the morning of February 11th, and that evening, will she sleep in a shelter, in housing, or maybe outside? This element reflects our ultimate goal for every project to support clients to find housing. HUD acknowledges this can be difficult and gives us some tips. Unlike some of our other data elements, exit destination can be gathered through multiple sources of information to triangulate the accurate response. The best case is that the clients meet with staff before leaving the project and can identify where they're going that evening. However, sometimes that's not possible that day. Use multiple sources to get the most accurate response. The client can be contacted later, staff can be consulted, and HMIS can be reviewed after the exit to update the destination. If there is still no information after trying these three sources, use the response, No Exit Interview Completed. HUD expects exit destination to be collected at project exit for every client, no matter their age. Last reminders, the response other will be considered incomplete or missing since it's not specific. Remember, missing data such as no exit interview completed is always better than inaccurate data. We recommend that you keep a copy of the NCCEH Data Center's Exit Destination Guide available where you do exits to consult. On the paper assessment, each of the options for destination are listed and divided by housing situation. Here are the first few categories. Here are the permanent housing and unknown situations for exit destination on the paper assessment. This concludes Part 8 of the HMIS Data Standards Training. Thank you for your time, and know that the Data Center Help Desk is available as you continue to train. You did it!